Hey guys, today I want to do a review video on a nice piece of software called WinX DVD Ripper Platinum. It's by DigitRT Software, and they were kind enough to give me a review copy. So it's $29.95, down from $39.95, and there's a free download if you wish to kind of try it out. Of course, there's limitations on the free download to what you can do. And it's a nice piece of software. So basically what it does is if I open it up here, it will allow you to get the video off of a DVD. Now, to my knowledge, you can't copy, like, all the contents of a DVD, so you can't get, like, the menu screens for any deleted scenes or that sort of stuff. But you can get the actual video part of it, so you can get the whole movie, and the copy option here just does a direct copy. It's supposed to be the best quality you can get. Then you've got all these formats here to copy it to. <coughs> You also are able to copy it straight to a format that's great for an iPod, iPad, iPhone, etc, etc. So, I'm just going to plug in, or not plug in, but put in a video. Put in some good old Simpsons. So, once that loads up, we'll see some stuff come up if my computer didn't suck. There we go. So, you can just close out of this window and you see all this pop up. So, this stuff doesn't really matter too much. It's just basically kind of saying some basic settings. So, you don't see anything here, but that's just because nothing to show at zero, 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 I guess. I don't know. But basically what you can do with these bars is pick where you want to start copying the video. So if you just want a portion of the video from anywhere you can take both sides and that'll be the portion of the video you get. So say I wanted the ending piece of this. If I can where are we? Yeah, I think that's as good as I can get to it. So I'll just do the normal copy. So you just click start. Pretty simple. It's pretty quick with getting the whole movie if you want to. It's quicker when you're doing less, obviously. So that'll open the file. And then I've got The Simpsons right here. Or the ending credits. Speed forward. <laughs> then you have, like, the ending piece. If you really wanted Assistant just that, I don't know why you would. So, if we exit out of all that, I'll just show you some of the things you can do. So you can change your kilobytes per second, your sample rate. Obviously, higher numbers equals a higher quality and that sort of stuff. Uh, there's no point in really touching on the video frame rate unless you really want more frames. Change the resolution here if you like to. Um, the CPU cores, like, I don't know, if you have a quad core or whatever you can use, just maybe two cores if you have the other two cores doing something else or something along those lines. So that's nothing too special. But it's nice to have the option. So, if you go to Options General, you can choose um, the Output folder. Um, when you copy stuff in that, you'll also see that it actually puts in a copy folder. It doesn't just put in the video folder, so it kind of organizes it, a, organizes it a little bit for you. So as you can see, there it is. And it's just a nice, simple, clean program they have here. I do recommend it if you're someone who wants to copy off, like copy... Make a kind of digital copy of your movie on your computer so you can have backups in case somehow that your DVD gets destroyed. Unfortunately, you won't kind of have the cutscenes in that, but at least you'll have the actual DVD. And 
that's all for now, so I guess I'll see you guys next time. Oh.